Hey guys, Happy Dad here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about Hasbro's HasLab project of Galactus. If you just want a condensed version, should you back this Galactus project and secure yourself a copy of the HasLab Galactus? Absolutely. It's going to be amazing. Now, I was honored to be on Spidey Duo 9's video where we did a live video talking about the pros and cons of this figure and overall just how excited we are. The link for that full video down below in the description so if you want to get all the details and things we're most excited about for this figure then click that link and check it out. It's about 45 minutes long so this is going to be a condensed version of that topic. Should you back the HasLab project and secure yourself a Galactus? And the answer is really simple. Absolutely. If you can afford this, then by all means go for it. And even if the price is a little bit steep, there are other ways where you can kind of entrepreneur and finesse your way to justify the purchase. So let's look into some details of that. First off, with this HasLab project, you're going to have five different tiers. What is a tier? A tier is pretty much just an added bonus of the figure. A lot of people get wrapped up in the fact that they see $400 just for an action figure. Well, let's break that down a little bit more. With each of these, with each of these tiers, you get a new unlockable or a new item that's going to come with it. With this backing project, you're going to get two exclusive figures that are going solely with this Galactus. So far, we know that the first character is going to be the Herald Nova. Interviews that have been posted since the initial release of this HasLab project, they have said that this is going to be an exclusive figure only with Galactus for at least the next two years. This figure is not a big enough incentive for me to solely back the project. So you can kind of do like I am and you can sell that figure by itself whenever you receive it. You should be able to get at least $75 just for that figure. So with that, we've already taken down our total purchase down to $325. All the other tiers have not been shown yet. The things that I'm betting are gonna be included with this are gonna be power accessory effects, a base, an additional faceplate, as well as a Silver Surfer. Now we've already had two Hasbro Silver Surfers in the six inch scale. You have the Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer Surfer, as well as the second Walgreens exclusive that came from the Silver Surfer Black. Theory is that it's gonna come with a 3.75 inch scale Silver Surfer. That way you can pose him in his hand and it's gonna make the Hasbro project look a lot larger than what it really is. So let's talk about the scale of it which is what is most exciting for me. If you look at the scale of this figure as opposed to the Sideshow statues, this is gonna be larger than a Sideshow statue. This HasLab project is gonna be bigger than any of the Sideshow statue releases, which is gonna make it a huge centerpiece of almost anyone's display. As of right now, the project has left to back and is currently at close to 13,000 backers. Now, initially, we thought that this project was going to be back before, by the time the weekend is, was over with. However, that wasn't the case, like it was with the Sentinel, which did it in practically a day. With the Sentinels, that's an army building piece. That's where you always want to get more than one because it's going to have better benefits for your display. Versus with Galactus, you really only need to have one. Another thing that I'm very excited about is the skull faceplate that comes with this HasLab project. In one of the videos where Hasbro was promoting their, their release, they said that this was kind of a starving faceplate for, face for Galactus. However, I think that it ties in with the Marvel Zombies that's coming from Disney's What If. We have also have the Marvel Cap Zombies Captain America coming out, which looks fantastic. I cannot wait for that figure. It's going to be great. So I believe that that is actually a Marvel Zombies Galactus. This is going to be amazing. It sucks that we have to wait till next year to receive it but it's going to be well worth the wait. We should be receiving our Sentinels within the next month. Here's a few of the highlights that me and Spidey Jew talked about over our excitement for the Galactus project. If you want to check out the full video, I'll put the link down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to check this out. If you haven't yet, go check out Spidey Jew 09's channel. Until next time, guys, stay safe and Flower be Flower petals. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all built. They're engineered specifically into one. Mm -hmm. so you were, you were thinking like about dioramas like see how he's sitting in front of this planet like that would be an easy easy diorama to build is the planet yeah mm -hmm. i love how he's pointing here and you can you can see that that's awesome
incredible. <laughs> LFO kilt, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know Galactus was Irish? <laughs> well, I just, it's better than saying skirt. <laughs> yeah. Galactus doesn't wear a skirt, he wears a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome stuff, man. So, um, so this so, should come out next fall, right? Like it should be released next fall once it's funded. Mm-hmm. I, I want, I want to say somewhere on there it was saying maybe September, October. It should fall suit, just like how the Sentinel is. Mm-mm. How big uh, do you think this package? One more is thing on. Oh, it's going to be huge. If the figure itself is 32 inches, then it's got to be close to 40. Yeah. And we don't know what they're putting, what else they're putting in it. So, uh, Hey, so mm-hmm. just, Hey, while you're talking, I'm going to pull up eBay for something. Okay. Okay. By all means. Yeah, uh, so one thing I also wanted to talk about on tears was an idea. Like what if they included a uh, 3.75 scale silver surfer to go with them. Oh, is there? Yeah. You know, like that if way, if not one, with like an, if there's not one, I would go. If, well, if I'm just thinking like ones, they I'd may find it. Yeah. And I'm right there with you because it would be really easy to have it set up to where, say, if he was flying over his shoulder like that. And with mm-hmm. that smaller scale figure, then it's going to make a bigger, a bigger presence for that figure. All right. So what I pulled up here, guys, this is the um, this is one of the first HasLab projects was the uh, Unicron, which is a transformer. And these are the sold listings for it. And I re- if I remember correctly, the the original price of that was what, five or six hundred dollars? Yeah, I think it was four ninety nine. And then let's do what was the other one? The Star Wars. Mm-hmm. The uh, the one is the thing from Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, here's the it Razor a, Crest. It, it, yeah, I'm a I'm gonna pull that one up. I accidentally pulled up the Razor Crest first. So the Razor Crest was three fifty, three forty eight, I think. And here it is selling for eight hundred. And uh, let me. See if I can pull the other one up. Java Cell Barge. Java Cell, yeah, that, that's cell what Barge. It was. <laughs> the the figures that came in it, like not the actual ship, but the figures that come in it. Well, it's not letting me get to it. Um, sold for four are selling for 400, 150, but the actual cell barge, 2,000, 2,400. So mm-hmm. that's about five times. And you know, if you look at the Sentinel as well, I know you and I have spoken about this in detail, but if you look at everything that was included with the HasLab Sentinel, mm-hmm. you really only paid possibly a hundred dollars for the Sentinel itself because yeah, so- it came with so many other, so much other stuff, and it came with two standalone figures, which was Bastion and then a Sentinel Prime. I, I really think those figures are going to have a heavy resale oh, yeah. after everything gets released. So the signal right now selling reselling for a thousand to nine hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred, seven hundred. And like this one says uh six hundred. And then let's get to here's where just the just the bastion male and female figures are reselling. Let me see if I can find a true sale. Cause they were selling for like two hundred bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two seventy four for both of them. And that's just the stretch goals, and it almost paid for the figure itself. Yeah. And, and that's nuts. Yeah, so kind of my point in showing you this so is... So with this Galactus, if... Go ahead. I was going to say, and like, say if we go through these tiers and they have some a bigger Herald, kind of like Terra, like I was saying, it was a Build-A-Figure. If it's a larger scale figure like that, then there's no telling what kind of demand that would drive. Right. Hey, I've got to plug in my, my MacBook is about to die. Can you give me a second. No, you're fine.
another thing that's really cool about these interchangeable faces, it comes with a plate. So you would come in and you would just pull it out and you can swap it out that way. Now, another thing that you can do is we can remove the face plate and it's just negative space. And I don't think Justin and I really talked about this yet, but a lot of parts on this figure light up. Like his chest has an LED light, his eyes light up, different parts of just the head sculpt by itself are all going to light up. Just checking here through the comments. Right. Android Kang. That would be cool. Never seen an Android Kang. Hey, can you answer that question, Daniel? The Galactus one? Mm hmm. Yeah, I want to say that's accurate. Like, he wants to just. I don't know if it's that he has a goal. Like, it's since we're talking about like this, but I don't know if he has a goal of wanting to be the top one or if it's just a hunger to devour everything. Gotcha. Oh, Sketch Car joined us. What's up, my friend? Let's see. Norn, you must be excited with the implication of the MCU. Yeah, he's excited. So, uh, <clears throat> so Daniel, if you don't know this, uh, Sketch Card, Norn Rad, he goes by Norn Rad. You know why? It, Silver Surfer is his absolute favorite, and mm -hmm. uh, it's not even close. Uh, <laughs> it's more of a balanced character. Galact Galactus is more necessary evil, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So Galactus yeah. does it at times kind of, people do try to show him in more positive light. Like, he can't help but devour planets. Like, it's in his nature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm super excited, but I, depending on the stretch goals, that's going to determine whether or not I purchase more than one. Well, I'm I'm definitely going to purchase two. You know that already, huh? But that that's something. Oh yeah, like the thing, regardless of what the stretch goals are or not, I'm going to get two. Right. I think the thing that that and people, I think that's a big factor right now. Well, what I was going to say is when you look at when you look at the Marvel Legends community, I suspect that there's, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere around 100,000 serious collectors. And and I can share with you later how I've kind of come to that conclusion. But um, was it Reed Richards' son in X Earth? Is Galactus? Is that what you're saying, Sketch? I'd have to look into that. I, X Earth is the Alex Ross stuff, right? Earth X, I mean, I'm dyslexic. Um, yeah, but, yeah. But, Earth X has a really good art. But the thing is, is that um, there's only a 45 day window to purchase these. So if people aren't paying attention or they don't have their money in order mm -hmm. and they miss it, you won't be able to buy it again somewhere else. It's not going to show up at Target at some point. Yeah. And so, thanks, Sketch. Appreciate that. And so, with that being said the people who acquire more than one of these are going to, are going to have the ability to resell in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. Cause there's going to be more, there's going to be more collectors come in. And so if you think about kind of down the road, 10 years from now, MCU puts Galactus in the, in the movies. Like this is going to be the, this is going to be the six inch scale version of Galactus that people are going to want in their collection. It's going to become the definitive Galactus. They're like, there's no longer going to be a debate on the Toy Biz or some reissued Hasbro ones. It's, in fact, going to be the definitive one you want to have. Um, actually, with that, can we go ahead and talk about some of the things I'm excited about just so, when it comes to the scale of it? Yeah, well, I want to, I want to re react to Marvelous Pax. He says, Kang is also a distant heir relative of the genius. So, yeah, uh, Kang is the, is it great? Is it like grandson of, of is, is it Reed Richards is, or is it uh, Reed Richards' son? I can't remember, but he's a relative of uh, the Reed. Richards family. He, he's a Reed. Yep. Yeah, future great grandchild. There you go. Marvelous knows his stuff, man. Look at them bringing, bringing the knowledge this morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, but go ahead. What were you saying? No. Um... So some of the things that I'm most excited about when it comes to this Kickstarter, or not Kickstarter, but this project, mm -hmm. is just the, the scale of it. 
because as a collector, you also kind of think about your display setups. Like I know you've spent a ton of time trying to get your display put a certain way. And one idea I've always thought about was maybe getting a sideshow statue just as a placeholder for Galactus because you want that character to be larger than life because it is. So the thought of having a sideshow statue next to a six inch figure, and it's almost shown right there in that image where you have a six inch figure just at his foot. Right. But here's the So that was the driving thing and I started looking into statues. Yeah. So the picture that we're looking at right now, that came from twenty fourteen. That was the sideshow statue of Galactus. Now that one to a lot of people, especially in the statue community, that's the definitive display for Galactus. And on that one, it comes out to and I think that's the image right there. You can see it. Um, the sur- does see that the have server. silver surfer underneath his hand? It does. You can you can barely yeah, see that, it. I that's I when get. I was talking about the when I was talking about the three point seven five scale, that's what I have in mind is doing something like that with it. He's holding it. But an with apple. that that figure, that one stands thirty three inches tall and he's standing on a base. Mm-hmm. So you got to account for the size of that base. That's at least maybe three to four inches. So that would, if it was four, then that would put the statue itself at 29. Okay. So that makes the has the HasLab project bigger than that sideshow statue. Right, right. Are you talking In about the, the sheer scale of Galactus himself? Mm-hmm. There's your base. Yep. That's sick to think that we're going to have a Marvel Legends six six inch scale Galactus that's larger than a size shed statue. You can't not be excited about it because that's <laughs> I, like that sideshow statue that you're showing images right now. The resale on that one is close to two thousand dollars. Wow, that's nuts. Now, sideshow also has another statue that's available for pre order right now. That's going to be coming out next fall, just like this has lab. But that one only stands at 26 inches, and that's with the base as well. Hmm. So the that. new one is going to tower over the new Sideshow statue. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, we're excited too, Marvel. And, on, the, and on, this, on this 20, the 22, 22, mm-hmm. on the 2022 Sideshow statue, that pre order is almost right at $800. Wow. Versus the HasLab is half that, and it's bigger. It comes and to more, and, more things, yeah. The sketch card he's saying, and no light up fe- features. And this one's going to come up with mm-hmm. uh, quite a bit of light up from the face into the chest. Oh yeah, and then if you look at all the parts that light up in the head sculpt, like mm-hmm. even the ears light up. No one needs that, but the, they're including <laughs> it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big you can put lights everywhere it's going to be my new lamp stand by my bed <laughs> right <laughs> it's going to be Sam's new I would love light. to see me try to pull that off of my wife that would be so hilarious you think yeah. you think Galactus is a devourer I'll... of planets <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm already her the, herald I said my now life. that I think about it my wife is like Galactus <laughs> That's a great idea. It sounds like a great idea, but if I tried to execute it, I'll get I'll get executed. Right. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work that way. I got two rooms in this world that I can exist in, and I get I, you know my wife lets me have my space, but outside of that, you can't even tell I live in this household. It's all female all the time. That's my wife's current goals. <laughs> get you a room yeah <laughs> well it took it took me 15 years so oh yeah can't can't rush it <laughs> we'll get there yep well look man you got any other uh, thoughts about this galactus so um and this is just from a customizing standpoint, because mm-hmm. if you look at my Instagram, I'm really heavy into repainting and customizing these Hasbro figures. There's another customizer who goes by Symbiote Sneaker. He's one mm-hmm. of the world's best. He's this guy that goes, he lives out of Australia, and he does Venom versions of all these different characters. 
he gave himself a goal where he's going to make a venomized version of this Galactus. Oh my gosh. It's going to be insane. <laughs> that's that's sick. Is that the same guy that takes the the um the pit build a figures and turns them into venomized characters? Yes. That dude, that guy. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Yeah. Um, he does amazing work with everything he does. Uh, I've reached out to him a few times just to give him praise, and he's like a super, super cool Marvelous Pax. Hmm. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind some play sets, um, but I do want to finish, like, I, w- I want to get all the big, you know, characters that we can first before we go to that. Unless they, unless, unless they can put it out faster and it has a little bit, has a lower cost. Yeah. That would be, seems like with play sets, they could do that a lot faster and a lower cost, but. And you know, um, that was another point that I had. We're in a new era when it comes to these figures, because now they're experimenting with new sculpts exclusively to certain figures as well as new scales, like say for this year, you have the MCU line or the Infinity Saga line. Mm-hmm. If you look at that character of Sol- Searcher, mm-hmm. that's a ten-inch figure. You know, prior to that, there is there is no ten-inch figure. You either have a giant build a figure that has recycled pieces, or mm-hmm. you have this new thing. Yeah, guys. Just to kind of elaborate on what Daniel is saying is, you know, historically when when Toy Biz or Hasbro was making a figure. They were thinking about how many times could they use that um, that mold. So if they made a mold of something, they wanted to be able to use it as many times as possible to reduce costs of making molds. Mm-hmm. And now what we're seeing is just like a ton of the figures that are being released have unique sculpts, so molds that they have to make that likely won't be able to be re- reused that much. And it's it's just a it's a new era uh, for us as collectors. Mm-hmm we're moving away from the cookie cutter approach and mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're already their own established brand, but now they're putting their own stamp on it heavily. Right. So, but we are, we are seeing an increase in cost to some degree, yeah. you know, from $19 a figure to $26 a figure, $24 a figure, $29 a figure. Like for those who maybe were not on the, on the live stream to start, you know, this is a, just close to a $30 figure, but, it's sick. <laughs> it's so good. And now this even, is this does have reuse. It's a lot but of plastic. Even with that, if you look at even though the price point's going up, the detail and paint that they're putting into is going up as well. Yeah. No, that like, detail. Oh, like I want to say on that maestro, they even and then we've got that to it. You know, I really I'm so thankful for that that next wave of Age of Apocalypse because what we had was not inspiring to me in terms of like building a display. Mm-hmm. Um and I had it kind of tucked away, but now that we're going to have that second wave, I'm really excited about putting together that display. Yeah, I even fully passed on the first wave. The only thing I cared about it was Sugar Man, but then when they showed the second wave coming out, I ended up going back and picking up the whole wave. The whole wave, yeah, yeah. And and <laughs> I dislike Sugar Man the most. He's incredible from a you know sculpting and painting and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. He's so hideous. I can't stand to look at it. <laughs> it's so it's so ugly. Oh, I hate it so much. It looks like something out of the Mc, 